I didn't want to bring up Rachel as well because I didn't want her to relive it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that um, our players didn't have to endure that and because I didn't really have – I don't have the words. If, if something were to happen in that manner, I don't have the words to comfort them. So I, I'd rather um, just – just not put ourselves in that situation. This is why black people can't have nothing. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, the Don hoodies are out. We've never had the Don in hoodies. So now that we got the hoodies, you make sure you get them. Uh, use discount code. Uh, Adam 2024, use Adam 2024, you'll get 20% off. These hats are coming in as well. Jesus is Lord in the red and black. Ladies and gentlemen, we got so much cool merch. Y'all better get these. Y'all better click notify me when made available to get some of these because as soon as we launch, they going to be gone. These are the best hats that we've ever had on our website. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifi notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. There, there's a lady, I forget what school she's she's coaching at. Y'all know the Duke thing, where the girl is playing volleyball and she claimed that somebody used racial epithet or racial slurs against her. N no evidence. Literally the video I made on YouTube almost got a million views right now. No evidence that anybody caught her anything. They have video recording and they didn't see anybody say anything to her on the video. There's an audience, uh, Thousands of people. Nobody heard any racial slurs. Nobody on her team, none of her coaches, nobody in the crowd, not the police, not the other team, not the administrators who watched the review of the video. It, it didn't happen. And she lied. And a dumb, woke, shiny forehead coach is now counseling a football game. I'm going to make a video about this. Not, not a football game. She's counseling one of their games with BYU because of this mysterious happening. Well, I, it wasn't a knee-jerk reaction, obviously, because I don't knee-jerk anything. I, you know, I, I vetted, I vetted it. I, I talked to various people um, that that was a part of the situation, um, and I just felt like I mean, I slept on it a few nights, and I just I woke up with the same just gut feeling that I sh I should not put our our players in that situation. I did not discuss it with our players. I did tell them, um, was it yesterday? Yeah, Friday. Friday that is going to be happening, and you know they, you know they, they nodded in in affirmation. So, um, and I, you know, I didn't do it to, you know, condemn BYU. I did not do that. This was a selfish decision, you know, and that was. I was only thinking about South Carolina women's basketball, and I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to. I, I wanted to handle it on my own, which is, you know, not hopefully involve anybody else that have to have to deal with it. Um, meaning our administrators, although you know, Coach Tanner was really good about um, supporting it. Um, I didn't want to bring up Rachel as well because I didn't want her to relive it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that. Um, our players didn't have to endure that and because I didn't really have I don't have the words if, if something were to happen in that manner I don't have the words to comfort them so I, I'd rather um, just just not put ourselves in that situation you know this you know that you know what this remind me of South Carolina that's where it is South Carolina University of South Carolina is it a basketball or volleyball maybe it's a bad is it basketball or volleyball it's basketball, uh, basketball, and we know. Listen, I played college football. I played we we in McHale Center. All the athletes were down in McHale Center at the University of Arizona. It was a beautiful environment. We all were were good friends. We would see each other in the locker rooms. I mean, not in the locker rooms. We didn't go in the girls' locker rooms. Let me make that make that clear. And we we definitely didn't go in the women's basketball locker room. But we, in the fitness facility, we worked out together. We went to games together. We were all – we would pass each other. We will go to the little uh, – they had a little corner store that was downstairs that we all used to shop at. We used to go there together. I mean, we were all really great athletes because we were in the same facility. They were saying the N-word. We were saying the N-word. Everybody was saying the N-word. N, you get an N, you get an N, you get an N. All y'all can say the N-word. 
Everybody's saying in, 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 in. Hype music. We in the locker room coming out, running out to music. In, 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 in. And you telling me somebody in the crowd call you the N-word and your, your feelings are broken. And this lady forfeited the game for what? Because somebody might call you the N-word? My God, you can't get any stupider than these people. I can't stand these. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to hear it in my butt. I can't stand these people. You're going to cancel a game with BYU with no evidence. What are they going to do about the schedule? Y'all didn't, y'all didn't get a chance to get reps in. You didn't get a chance to play. You didn't get a chance to practice your opponent. You got no film. What are you going to do with your record? Because somebody may have said the N-word to a girl playing volleyball at BYU. Ah, oh, God is my witness. I, I just, the, just, the, just people are zombies. They just, they have no soul. They're just a walking shell of a person. Just nothing on the inside of their mind. Canceling the game. I mean, the, the, the show of force is to say, we're going to go down to BYU and we're going to stomp them out. We're going to beat them so bad They'll never want to play us again. That That's the recourse to somebody calling the N-word. You don't forfeit a game, you coward. Ladies and gentlemen, I I, I can't stand these folks. That's what I'm coming in with. I, can't, I, I actually listened to the video because Nick shared the video and told me that the South Carolina coach, basketball, women's basketball coach, decided to cancel a game with BYU. And I said, I got to make a video about it because there's no way in the world a grown woman can be that weak and talking about she saving a kid. It, lady, you you ain't even talk to him about it. You just quit the game. I can't stand these people. Lord, Lord, I know you hear me. Help me. I can't stand these people. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to sin in my mind. I'm so frustrated at the stupidity. This is why black folks can't have nothing. Because you can't play a basketball game because somebody said a slur against another black person that's in another sport. What are y'all even talking about? You can't play a basketball game because of a word and y'all sitting in the locker room saying in, 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 in all week long. I play sports. I know what we do in the locker room. I know the music we listen to in the locker room. Women's basketball, men's basketball, we're no different than the football team. In, 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 Drake, uh, uh, little nasty nukies, or whatever these women call themselves today, all of them just nasty, talk about all kind of stuff. And let me tell you about women's basketball. She should be worried about them girls turning these other girls out. Oh, oh, you talking about the N-word? They out here turning girls out on the basketball team. If you don't know what turning out mean, they go in straight, they leave gay. Everybody know this is happening in women's basketball on college level, high school level. They have these girls come in there, and then the young freshmen come in, and they get into it with their boyfriend, and they manipulate them, and then before you know it, they now gay with the other girls on the team. Now, and tell me I'm lying. Somebody who played women's basketball, tell me I'm lying. All right, let me bring in a caller. I have somebody that disagree with me. Uh, Lord, give me the strength to handle this disagreement. Tim from Washington, welcome to the Austin Tatum Show. Hey, Austin Tatum, listen, you and I have talked before, and I hope you know, the Lord don't need to give you strength. I'm not here to give you strength. I'm just here to make a point. I listened to what you said about the garage. There's a couple things I want to take, because I don't want to take up your time. I played in the game in, actually, I said 71. It was 1973 high school football game. Where our tailback was killed on the field at Walter Walter. It was an all racist school. That's back in Alabama. There were three black kids on the team. Cannon died. Stringer quit. My dad wouldn't let me quit because he was a post sergeant major. Come to the present, 2006, Sports Illustrated called me and wanted to do a story about the game. They wanted to talk about the murder of a black kid. You know what I said? It was a football game. Those weren't black people saying murder. Those were people who were white. Second thing, you just had a softball team come from Florida was stopped in Georgia, going back to Virginia. Why? Because the kids were black. They thought they had drugs on them. The word nigger doesn't belong to anybody. Why you had to say the hard R on the radio, Tim? Come on, man. He was, I could feel the energy. He's about to say something crazy. And you ain't black. Let me tell you this. 
Let me just say this. He said he disagreed with me. He didn't get to say much because he said the N-word. I don't know what radio he be listening to. You can't say the N-word on the radio. Why do you think I'm saying N-word? Because you can't say the N-word and then put an E-R on it. What are you smoking? All right. Let me just let me just clarify this because I think his argument is that people are racist towards black people. So what, man? People may not like you as long as they put their hands on you. This girl lied, though. This hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out shawty. This girl lied, though. She lied. That's like saying Jussie Smollett. That's like using Jussie Smollett as an example not to go downtown Chicago. Well, no, we can't go. Subway need to intervene and do a protest because Jussie Smollett got beat up by some white dudes with mega hats. That didn't happen. So if you making an argument that somebody need to do something about Jussie Smollett, he lied. The, the girl in Duke, she claimed that somebody did. Nobody heard it. She's saying that she's serving the ball. I've been to volleyball games. She says she's serving the ball. And they're yelling racial slurs against her. Nobody on her team, nobody in the audience. They had audio video footage of the game. No, not one slur in any of the videos. Police couldn't find it. Administrators couldn't find it. No, uh, not another teammate could find it. There was nothing there. So this woman quitting the game against BYU for a Justice Smollett situation. It's the preponderance and the culmination of stupidity that is the reason why black people can't get ahead in life. You're so weak-minded that you can't play a basketball game because of fake scenario. Go to sleep.